2017 Volvo S90R Design D5 Power Pulse AWD. The Volvo S90R design is a thoroughly recommendable car, but even this most sporting S90 doesn't offer the polished dynamics that its rivals do. What is it? The Volvo S90 is a refreshing Scandinavian alternative in an executive saloon segment filled with big-hitting German rivals. This new R design trim is, for now at least, its sportiest variant. Available with either of the 2.0-liter diesel D4 or D5 engines at launch, with a hybrid T8 to join later, our design gets a black grille, 18 in alloys, dual exhaust pipes and sports seats, as well as a sporty suspension setup and a lavish leather and Nubuck interior. We're driving the D5 variant, which isn't a full-blooded Polestar performance model, although a Polestar optimization pack is available but still offers a 2.0-liter twin-turbo diesel engine with 232 bhp and 354 pounds-foot, all-wheel drive and 8-speed automatic transmission. In the UK, our design is expected to be the joint most popular trim in the S90 range, alongside entry-level momentum. It offers head-turning looks, a plush interior and the promise of a sportier drive but it faces tough competition from all-wheel drive BMW M Sport and Mercedes-Benz AMG line rivals in its class. What's it like? It looks the part, but, as with the V90R design, the lowered suspension doesn't do many favors for its ride. It's 15 mm lower, the springs have been shortened and stiffened, and it also gets passive monotub dampers which use one valve to deliver compression and rebound damping. That translates into a ride that delivers sharp jolts and thumps over imperfections, especially around town and on B roads. It's much better on smooth surfaces though, offering a more compliant and relaxing ride. The stiffer suspension does also offer a trade-off for better driving dynamics, with tighter body control and sharper cornering, but as the improvement is only minor it's still worth ticking the £1,500 option to get adaptive dampers with rear air suspension. This removes the lower ride height and will generally make the S90 more comfortable, which is surely one of the main reasons why you'd be considering this car anyway. The S90R design is adept at cruising over long motorway stretches, with an interior that remains quiet apart from some tire noise over coarse surfaces, and the semi-autonomous pilot assist function is a great asset for removing some stress from particularly monotonous tracks. But when you hit some country roads, this R design model ultimately doesn't deliver the same levels of engagement as its German counterparts, even if it is still enjoyable in its own right. The all-wheel drive system offers lots of grip, but the steering doesn't offer much feel and its self-centering occasionally feels overly keen as well, especially in the weightier dynamic mode. Performance is impressive and it'll munch through overtakes without any problem, but it doesn't feel properly quick or agile like a BMW 5 Series 530DX drive which is a noticeable 1.6 seconds quicker from 0 to 62 miles per hour, does. The D5 engine does, however, have a clever power pulse air compressor which reduces turbo lag. This means response is good even at low revs, and power is delivered smoothly, with only the slightly sluggish 8-speed auto gearbox impeding the slickness of the acceleration. The S90's interior is beautifully crafted. Aside from the impeccable fit and finish there's plenty of space for all, the boot is a good size, the 9.0 in touchscreen infotainment system is incredibly intuitive and our design adds a crystal clear 12.3 in digital instrument display, 